Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the Kansas Jayhawks. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. The Jayhawks know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. First, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. Secondly, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And lastly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He's got a high post flasher. High post screen. Oh, yes. Pushing that basketball. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Outside jumper. He drains the bucket. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler well some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession let's watch the defense down on the low block see first initially he wants a three-quarter look at a shot block but he got some contact nice hops <laughs> trying to feed inside Tries for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? The small forward handles the feed. Sinks the shot. Harvey is fired up and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. They look to get it to the inside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dumps it in. The power forward receives the pass. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The skip pass is picked off. He shoots. Off the rim and no good. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to go inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job, but swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The point guard receives the ball. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He draws a foul. You betcha. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Space 
position. He puts it up. That's good. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Tries to turn. The defense comes. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. man in high post there's a bad pass right to the defender showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense he's got some room reverses the ball after having a guy in the post parks handles the pass Nick, i think there's a mismatch in the post you're right brad there is a mismatch nice to have you along with us tonight dick vitale and aaron andrews alongside i'm brad nessler we got a good one going On the inside, looking for the foul. He grabs the rebound. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. He makes a nice shot fake. There he is, puts the ball loose. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. That's a 7 nothing run. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Nice shot. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. For the bucket, perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Dump it inside. Here's a flash from the post up high. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Goes up for two. That's a foul. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That was nice. <laughs> Defensively, doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of bounds.
He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. With a deep shot from outside. He gets the bucket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Steals the pass. For two. Doesn't go. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Down in the low block, try to work inside. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. To the line. He got it. And he got them both. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Hard foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Gets the second shot. Hits his third. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. In and out. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Drains the shot. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Makes the shot. 
Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. From the top of the key. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. In the paint with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Tries for two, and in and out. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Knocks it down. Let's take a look at that last basket. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Work it around the arc. Picks off the lazy pass. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. For two. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. A three way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He goes for three. Gets it to go. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. For the bucket, they still don't score. Makes the block. Off the rim and no good. Dump it inside. Hopkins fakes the shot. Buchanan has got the people in the bleachers up in appreciation. He's very popular, Drag. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Somebody inside! Picks off the pass. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Or go up. He takes a three. Got it. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two, 
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. He dials long distance. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. He squares up. The, that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Here's the offensive drop step and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the outside, on the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Kick it back outside. Let's it fly. He gets it to fall. You don't see plays like this every day. There they come with a double team to stop it. It sticks. Break opportunity here. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Got a wide open look. Tickles a twine. it up the athleticism in some of these kids Brad I'll tell you it's incredible we're gonna move it around the perimeter he called for the oop took off and threw it down baby Accepts it. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. And they get the turnover. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism in quickness. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a close player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. 
Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Throws it up, hoping for the best. That's good. At the half, the Bulldogs are down by four. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Kansas shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there. But look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. When you look at the record books, the Jayhawks are, year after year, the team to beat in the Big 12. It definitely seems that way, Brad. They've won the most Big 12 championships and are perennial favorites. Number 31 makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. First shot, good. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Here's a flash from the high post. I love this guy, Hook. He can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? In the paint. Pump fakes. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They'll work it around the arc. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Too many dribbles and a steal. They run it up into transition. He gets it to fall. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Another look. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. 
Watch out, Nick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. They will line them up. Sinks it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. There's the screen up on top. Basket falls despite the contact. They work the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. He hits the shot. Penetrates and kicks back. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He shoots from long range. There was no doubt about that one. The Bulldogs trail by 13. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Counts getting high. Looks for a three-pointer. Good. Let's get a replay, baby. Controlling the ball. Hopkins makes a great move to draw the foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative. It absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. There's the fake. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. a double team and the ball goes out of play you start comparing these backcourts dick what are your impressions so far you know well for me brad good guard play will take you a long ways if you think about teams in the past they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure attack off the dribble and distribute the ball i can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is looking for a good shot the center gets the ball Tries for two. Perfectly executed. In the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The power forward gets the pass. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Picked out of the air. For two. Up and in. Double team with the block. What an unbelievable play rotating over. Steal. What a great. 
great strip. Goes up for two. Drains the shot. Let's take another look. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. to take it away. On the outside. In the post. For the deuce. front court. He strips him clean. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Looking for a good shot. He rejects it. He shows the sweet touch. He shoots from right of the circle. Gonzaga are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. In the paint, he up fakes. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For two, up, easy one. Now they work it around the perimeter. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Comes away with it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking out of box. And the ball goes out of bounds. Picked off. The Jayhawks seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup there. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball players. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He shoots from the top of the circle. Gonzaga are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Tries to get the D to bite. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. The Jayhawks are ahead by 13. Next 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two and off the mark. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews with what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Side. Strips the ball. Here we go on the break. Alley oop. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Here. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Despite the hang. Here's another look, Dick. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. pass in the paint and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot his shot blocked from behind he set him up nicely the ball goes out of play look at him now Dick celebrating with the cheerleaders now that's a spectacle hey, he's out of control Brad he wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment including the cheerleaders Drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. He goes to the free throw line. Makes it. They work the perimeter. The center with the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard takes the pass. He shoots. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. He gives him the fake. The small forward takes the feed. Step out on that screener. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire.
Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Easy one. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Looking for a good shot. Up fake, too much. That's a foul. I think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big play. He gets the rejection. Takes away the pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He makes the block. Length of the floor. The post flashes up high if he wants it from the baseline. Rims out. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the angle. It won't fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. 10 on the shot clock. Up and inside. He takes the three. Gets it to fall.
get back out on the floor. One on the shot clock. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He nails the bucket. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And yet another foul. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, knowing when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Well, the arc looked good. He tries the three. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Makes the shot. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. He shoots from long range. Makes the shot. Michael, watch that one again all night long. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. He goes to the line for the first time. No doubt about it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He shoots from the top of the circle. He showed some range on that shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. To the charity strike. Hits that one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes both of them. They really need a score here to turn this into a two-possession game. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. What kind of energy are we looking at for that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. And the clock stopped with a foul. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. He misses his first shot. Gets the second. They need a basket here to turn this into a one-possession game. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot all right 
Nick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Jayhawks graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.